What's up, beautiful people, to another episode of Pursuit of Destiny Podcast. It's me, Ricky Jones Jr., back again for yet another episode in which I am still on a high and excitement about as it pertains to us talking about being the glow. And of course, with Thursday's talks and episodes, we do it and speak on it from a business perspective, okay? So for all of our business owners, CEOs, uh, supervisors, you know, all of them various people, COOs, whoever you are that has a business or leading the charge within a business this one is for you on how we can be the glow cake because i'm i find myself in a lot of those various hats so not only am i talking from experience but i'm talking about in ways in which i see it working well as well as ways in which i see myself doing it okay um because even within our businesses we don't have a staff however it is a business of two and all of our various endeavors and some of them three because of our daughter rain nonetheless um with it being said your business can be the glow and your business is a glow as well okay now you may be wondering how how can my business be a glow how how can i glow how can my business glow in its arena okay and i will say each and every business operates within a category or a section right however yours can stick out largely because of what you offer what you do and what people say about you okay i'm gonna run that back again you can be the glow by very ways of what you do how you do it and what people say about you okay what do you do right i don't i don't i don't honestly know what everybody does i would love to know it you can let us know in the comment section below um or you can message us on instagram or email us the various businesses that you operate or if you do look to start a business we do have a four-week plan that will help you launch your business in just four weeks i'll put a link for that one as well in the description however with that being said what you do do you do it in a way that is bold is it big is it something that you are drop shipping or not necessarily drop shipping because you really don't control that or is it something that you are shipping if you are shipping something to your customers how is your packaging is it in a unique way that somebody may want to hold the packaging or respect oh snap here's the packaging you know and i'm making this real as can be you may be sending something that the usual individual or company would send it in a vanilla envelope however when it comes from your company it is sent in a lime green envelope or a pink envelope or a yellow envelope that distinguishes your business from another business sis package right like that's that's unique in itself already i know if i'm receiving something from your company with that unique look i already know something unique is coming my way something special they care about what they are servicing me with already because of the packaging that it's in right and even going a step further is it that within the packaging there's a thank you letter Thank you letters go a long way. Seriously, to this day, thank you letters go a long way. And even if you handwrite the letter, it goes a long way. Now, I'm not saying for your big corporate businesses that you have to do it all the way to the end. But even as you're starting, doing things like that goes a long way. Not only will those things help, but if it's a service situation, are you calling people back? Are you thanking them for the service that you were able to present and give to them that they pay for right are you thanking them are you following up to see how things are Are you following up making sure that they have an understanding of what they just took a part in like are you doing those things now this could be for like a mechanic scenario right just trying to make everything practical once you've fixed somebody's brakes right are you calling back to see how things are you know is it squealing or anything like that are you feeling the traction difference because of the brakes being changed what are you doing to go a above and beyond being that glow to them to make them say oh man like this is really something that i think full for i am thankful for and i know that they are doing the above and beyond like i feel presence of excitement i feel the presence of thankfulness gratitude and i know that they care having a business with people knowing that you care and that you're grateful for their services go or for their um not services but when somebody um patronize you right when they use your services or your goods you can be thankful too and even in the experience like how were you were you jovial were you excited when you came in contact with them were you a light were you showing various other things that may or may not be wrong in a positive way 
I'm speaking to the mechanic right now, where you're talking about, you know, other things. Hey, maybe you should look at this or maybe you should look at that. I'll fix this because that's what you came for. But know that these are some other things that you may want to do in the near future, right? Conversation goes a long way. How you say a thing is largely how somebody receives a thing. So if you say it in a good way, they're receiving in a good way, which will lead to a great conversation. But you being a glow is, again, the products, how are you giving it to them, the services, how and what is the experience when they come in contact with you off the hello, right? When you answer the phone, are you saying, hello, how are you doing today? It's a great day. Thank you for calling such and such. How can I help you? Or are you just answering the phone like it's a bill collector? You really want to be off the phone. Like things like that goes a long way. A jovial answering the phone goes a long way, even when you're calling somebody to receive funds. I mean, we get so many calls. I get so many that talk. They, I'm glad now that on the phone, let's say spam likely, or, you know, it'll give me something that say like, don't answer. I don't answer those things. However, if I do answer the phone, I would love to be able to interact with somebody that is jovial, that is excited, that is a glow, okay? That is a part of the exchange. As a business, those are things that you want to look out for, as well as even emails. Whatever type of correspondence that you have with your customers, especially even websites, do we or do they read it in a way that excitement occurs? Are they excited about being a part of what you have to offer? Or is this like, oh man, like this is what this is? I don't, I don't. I don't, you know, everybody, well, I won't say everybody, majority of people shop online. So, I mean, they see a dime a dozen websites. However, how does yours stick out? How does yours illuminate itself as opposed to others within your category? What What are you doing? What does your social media looks like? Is it dull? Is it bland or is it exciting? Is it bright? Is it illuminating? Like these are all different ways that your business can be a glow. And again, follow-ups go a long way. Thank you letters and notes and handwritten letters go a long way. There are various things like that. But not only is and are your products away, your services are away, but the way people talk about you word of mouth, how are they saying the experience was? Are you doing those things in the beginning that they are then excited about telling others about you? Like I can say I recently had some uh, AC work done at our home and those guys were awesome. I still need to do a review for them. I'm going to do it actually tonight. Okay. So I'm going to do it tonight. And at the end of the day, they were great people and I had a great experience with them. I would recommend them recommend them to others largely because of our interaction. They were very cool individuals. It was two guys. But nonetheless, because of that, if anybody says, oh man, I have some AC issues. I need some AC work. I know who to call because these were good people. They were great, had great service. They had a great product that they replaced ACs in situations in our home. But all that to say, largely because of how they interacted with me would be the reason why I would recommend them to others knowing that that same interaction with me, they would give to others. Word of mouth is still the most powerful form of marketing and advertisement for you as an individual, as well as you as your company, okay? And those things matter. Are you putting into place thank you notes and things like that? Are you doing things and saying things in a way that is profitable okay or are you just doing things in a way that meets the current need treat every customer as if they will be a long-term customer because you don't know who that person knows that could be or should be a potential customer so if you treat them like a long-term customer you'll treat them with respect you'll treat them with excitement you'll treat them with the idea that i'm not just interacting or exchanging something at this moment but they could come back even if you have a product or a service or you're doing something that is is maybe like a usual one-time type transaction but they have friends they know people they can talk they talk to you they have money they know people with money therefore if you treat them well if you give them that glow and that excitement and that brightness and that joy when they are a part of what you have to offer they too will share that same experience with others that could then become your future customers and people that further validate who you are tell others about what you have to offer and they too become your customers as well even with cleaning people right i you know my hats is off to everybody who does and have a cleaning business. I do love a clean place. However, right now, I'm definitely in a spot where I'll clean it myself. But I do look to, in one day, have people that will clean our home and things like that. All that to say, how are you when you show up to an opportunity to, even if you're doing a, hey, I'm doing a walkthrough to give you an estimate, or if you're showing up for the first day of cleaning, how are you showing up? Are you showing up smiling, exciting, even though it may not be 
I don't know, you might love it, right? But the person that is letting you in, they may be feeling down that their house or their business looks the way it looks, obviously, which is why they're calling you or, you know, to be there. So you shouldn't go in looking like, oh man, look at this place. No, you should go in smiling, smiling because you have an opportunity to have a client, right? You have an opportunity to offer your goods and your services to this particular individual. And knowing that you go in with a smile, you go in with excitement, you go in with joy, you go in letting them know, hey, all is well. I thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for walking me in. Thank you for showing me the different places that you want me to clean and know that I'm going to do my job with full excitement and even let you give me the opportunity to walk you around after I'm done. And if you see anything that needs to be touched after I have touched it, let me know and I'll be sure to take care of that for you. That right there. Oh, man, that's a that's a glow. That's above and beyond. That's like customer service times the roof. And that's what even being the glow is all about as it pertains within a business scope. Like what is your customer service? How do you acknowledge the customer how do you make them feel right point blank period the vibe how do you make them feel what is their energy when they come in contact with you as a business right and so going above and beyond doing those things letting them know that hey i am here for you i want to do the job as best as possible and i want you to be excited about what i have to offer what i bring to the table in our exchange that is what we as business owners should be thinking about when we come in contact with people as it pertains to our business as well as how we can be the glow everywhere that we go okay so hey we're here great people you can be the glow i hope you go back and listen to the tuesday's podcast if you didn't listen to mondays which talked about the affirmation you should go there and then on tuesday one we talked about how we as individuals can be the glow and how i myself feel like i am the glow everywhere that i go okay and how you two can be the same but then now on a business perspective we are here so with all that being said i love you all i appreciate you all i look forward to your business growing prospering and even know that we do have some business podcast interviews coming up so i'm excited about those taking place uh actually this month right this month started so um, uh, it's gonna be some fun times ahead and so we'll do those once a month uh, with various businesses and things like that but then hopefully you know we'll be able to grow and do more so we're starting there we're growing to where it can be and i'm excited to take you all along the journey so until then i love you all i appreciate you all and remember don't just live life but pursue destiny daily until next time peace